Hello everyone and welcome back to Code Dias. In this particular video, we will discuss the introduction part of MySQL. Before moving towards the introduction part, uh, the first one achievement of MySQL that is uh, recently uh, MySQL was declared the DBMS of the year. MySQL is declared DBMS of the year in the year of nine, 2019. So DBMS of the year, just like a student of the year, car of the year, something like mobile of the year. It's like a DBMS of the year in 2019. That's much powerful is this uh, MySQL. Okay, that's fine. According to DB Engine ranking. Okay, anyway. So slowly, slowly, we will uh, so move towards uh, MySQL. Okay. So what is MySQL? First, the very simple definition that is a uh, MySQL is a RDBMS. MySQL is what? MySQL is a RDBMS. So you will say, what is RDBMS? RDBMS stands for Relational Database Management System. So observe, it's a full form, but I'll discuss uh, what is a relational, what is database management system. Very clearly, I will discuss. But try to observe that oh, what is MySQL? MySQL is a RDBMS. What is the full form of RDBMS? Relational Database Management System. Observe very, very carefully. Relational Database Management System. Just one minute. Yeah. So let me uh, like uh, write some white color. Yeah. So Relational Database Management System. Here the term or Relational means what? The relational means a tabular. Relational means a tabular, tabular database management system, we can say. What do you mean by uh, relation? Relation means a table, relational means we can say tabular, tabular, okay. So what is a database management system? I will discuss, don't worry. Is it clear or not? What is MySQL? MySQL is a RDBMS. So here, what is the meaning of R? R means a relational. Relational means what? A tabular, tabular, tabular means a table, right? So what is a DBMS? Now you will understand. Is it clear or not? So the clear cut information, again, what is a MySQL? If someone will ask you, MySQL is a RDBMS, RDBMS. So what is the meaning of this R? R means a relation. It's a tabular, tabular. So what do you mean by this? What do you mean by this DBMS? What do you mean by this? DBMS is just observe very carefully. DBMS is a software that is used to manage the database. Clear cut information, sir. Observe very, very carefully what MySQL. MySQL is what? MySQL is a RDBMS. Sir. So, what is what is this DBMS? Sir? This what do you mean by this DBMS? Sir? DBMS means it is a software which is used to manage, used to manage, used to manage. But used to manage a database. Which type of database? Relational database. Which type of database? Relational database in this case. So that's why we are saying RDBMS. Is it clear or not? Okay. So DBMS is a software that is basically used to manage a database. But here in this case, which type of database? Relational database. Is it clear or not? Although this DBMS basically use, it can use to manage the other type of database also like a non-tabular database, no problem. But here we are discussing DBMS will manage a relational database, okay, clear. And if your DBMS will manage a relational database, that is called as RDBMS. That's it, clear cut information. If a DBMS a software used to manage a relational database, then DBMS, that DBMS is called as a relational database management system. Any, any, any doubt with this one? No. It's a clear cut information. So what is MySQL? MySQL is a RDBMS. What is RDBMS? A relational database management system. What is a DBMS? A DBMS is a software that is used to manage the database. If your DBMS software used to manage a relational database, then that DBMS is called as RDBMS. So tell me, DBMS is used to manage which type of database? Hmm. Only relational database or non-relational also? Yes, no, any database, non-relational also. But if a DBMS, if a DBMS will manage, if a DBMS will manage something like called as a relational database, if a DBMS will manage a relational database, then that DBMS is called as a RDBMS. Any doubt with this one? Okay, any doubt? No. So MySQL is what? MySQL is a RDBMS. 
So here the term IR means a relational and DBMS means a database management system. And this MySQL is a RDBMS, which is basically used to manage the relational databases. That's it. Next. Popular RDBMS software in the world. What are the different different popular RDBMS softwares are available in the world? First one, MySQL, next Oracle, next SQL Server. It's a product of Microsoft. Next IBM DB2, next PostgreSQL. Apart from that, there are lots of lots of uh, uh, MySQL, lots of lots of uh, relational database softwares are available in outside market. Okay. Is it clear or not? Yes, that's clear. That information. So this MySQL, Oracle, SQL Server, DB2, PostgreSQL, these are called as RDBMS. Okay, RDBMS means a relational database management system, which is basically, uh, R, uh, is it clear or not? Can I say RDBMS is a one type of DBMS? Yes, of course. If a DBMS software used to manage a relational database, then that uh, uh, DBMS is called as RDBMS. If your DBMS is managing tabular database, that is called as RDBMS. Clear cut information. Is it clear what is the differences between DBMS and RDBMS? DBMS and RDBMS. DBMS means it will basically used to manage a database. Right? It is a software used to manage database. It is a software. It is a software used to manage database. RDBMS is what? The, it is again a software used to manage a relational database. So that's why it is a, the term called as RDBMS. RDBMS means a relational plus a DBMS. That's it. Hope you guys are getting the clarity about this particular thing. So although all this concept is not that much required, but theoretically, uh, uh, like one or two definition, you have to inject in your mind. Okay. Next. MySQL is an open source, free OER. Uh, software under the GNU license. It's a open source and a freeware. Freeware means uh, uh, like uh, uh, to access with MySQL, uh, money is uh, not required. It's a uh, freely you can, available. You can download and you can use no problem. Money is a uh, not required. Next uh, means a uh, license is a uh, not required. Okay, some paid version is a uh, not required. Okay, so open source means uh, to develop MySQL, they have written some code and that code is available in publicly. That code is available publicly. Okay, you can you can you can modify that code and you can customize and you can create your own database. No problem at all if you have that capability. Next, MySQL was developed by a company that called as a MySQL AB. Uh, which company is developed the MySQL? MySQL is developed by a company called as MySQL. DB in the year of 1995. Okay. Is it clear? That's fine. Right. Very interesting. Right. Uh, why interesting? You have to wait. But now MySQL is the product of Oracle Corporation. Is it clear? Who developed MySQL? Observe very carefully. Who developed MySQL? MySQL is developed by MySQL AB company. MySQL AB company. When it is developed, it is developed in 1995. Okay, right. But now it is the product of uh, Oracle Corporation. Now it is the product of uh, Oracle Corporation. But that means Oracle Corporation acquire, uh, means Oracle Corporation acquires uh, this, uh, this company. Not uh, directly, but indirectly it acquires. Okay, how? How MySQL is the product of Oracle now? How? Because of the, it's a very twist. Huh? Some microsystem actually you have to observe this uh, concept uh, okay you have to observe very very clearly you have to observe right that is what uh, see my sql don't learn observe my sql is developed by which company developed by my sql ab company when it is developed 1995 okay is it clear okay. next uh, in the year of 2008 in the year of uh, 2008 uh, one company called as a Sun Microsystem. Sun Microsystem. Sun Microsystem acquired uh, or Sun Microsystem uh, purchased uh, MySQL. Who purchased Sun Microsystem in the year of 2008? In the year of 2010, in the year of 2010, Oracle purchased the Sun Microsystem. Oracle purchased the Sun Microsystem. That means Oracle purchased Sun Microsystem. Sun Microsystem purchased MySQL. So that means indirectly Oracle is the product of uh, 
Sun, Oracle is just product, sorry, My, MySQL is the product of Sun Microsystem or not? Of course, yes. That's a clear cut information. So, okay. MySQL developed in 1995. Oracle Corporation. Now it is the product of Oracle Corporation. But how? First, Sun Microsystem acquire uh, Sun Microsystem acquire something like a two thousand in two thousand eight. Uh, okay, then Oracle acquire Sun Microsystem in two thousand ten. So that means uh, uh, Oracle uh, Sun Microsystem is the product of Oracle as well as uh, MySQL is also product of Oracle. That's it. And these are the deal and of images. Okay, Sun Microsystem and Oracle. That's clear cut information. People are start comparing Oracle versus MySQL. Anyway, they are the product of same company. Next, uh, the, the MySQL AB, okay, MySQL AB, our founder, these, these three people, sir, okay, these three people developed the MySQL is actually, okay, some Michael, you can learn these names, okay, no problem. These three people, so developed the MySQL, okay. Every name, uh, why that name, okay, uh, behind the screen, there are some reason, right, uh, Python, white is Python, okay, C language, white is C language, Java, white is Java, similarly, my sql why my sql see this is basically it's a sql type so that's why it's a sql no problem right correct what about this my sql my is the name of a his doctor daughter right uh, my is the name of a his daughter so that's why it is a my sql observe my is the name my my sql is the name combination of a my and a sql my is the uh, name of the co-found my is my is the name of the co-founder co-founder co Mitchell this person's uh, daughter yes it's fine although these are not that much important but you should know these things okay fine next uh, some information that I collected from like a uh, uh, Wikipedia okay so that is uh, um, something like uh, original author developer some who initial release okay 27 years ago it's in the initial release and i can say the stable release is a uh, the latest version is a uh, 8.0.33 this is the latest version so as of now at the time of recording okay and um, something like uh, which is released recently in uh, 18th april 2023 uh, okay 18 days ago okay uh, you can uh, something like uh, visit this website, sir. Okay, this GitHub repository to get all the details. Okay, it's code details and all. And this MySQL software is built on top of uh, two languages. That is, uh, according to them, on top of a uh, C and a C plus plus. That much important C and C plus plus. But uh, people are saying C and C plus plus outdated, outdated, outdated. No. And uh, these are the operating system available in English. And type is a. Uh, observe type is what it is a uh, RDBMS type. License and all websites, uh, official website is uh, mysql.com. Okay. Yeah. We'll see uh, this uh, in the next video. We'll discuss something like called as a um, um, introduction, uh, uh, installation of mysql software, right? So, in installation, we'll see this website. So, okay. Next, uh, these are the release histories actually. Okay. So, uh, actually, it is the first version released in uh, 1995, but uh, these are some. Recent versions like 2018, 5.1 is there, 5.5 is in there. And why this is, these are the some pink or red color, right? Red color, old versions, right? And um, uh, so some next one is uh, this yellow color. Yellow color means uh, older versions, uh, but still maintained. That means you can, so you cannot uh, work with this uh, uh, versions. You cannot work, right? But you can work with this version. And latest is 8.0. But there are some sub versions are coming 8.0.1, 8.0.2, 8.0.3. 8 so 8.0.33 is coming, right? So latest is 8.0. Sub versions are coming, no problem. Okay. So see here also you are getting all these things, which is a release latest versions. Okay. These are latest versions. We will download this latest versions and we will work. And one of the things you will see that is 5.1, 5.2, 5.6. That means 5 uh, directly 8. What about 6, 7 and all? You have a story you can learn here. Uh, work with the version 6 stop, stopped after Sun Microsystem acquisition. Means uh, Sun Microsystem purchased uh, um, uh, MySQL. After that, they stopped the 6th version. And MySQL cluster based uh, MySQL cluster product uses in version number 7. The decision was made to jump directly to version number 8 to major versions. Okay, they directly they made the decision 
uh, five to eight. That's it. No six seven. Okay, you can ignore as of now. And all these things are not required. If you are really interested, you can go for your own search. Okay, and you can try uh, all those concepts. Okay, so that's it. And thank you so much for watching this particular video. I'll meet in the next video for continuation. But thank you so much.